Good day, students. Today, we are going to learn another math lesson, and that is division and fraction by cancellation. So, we're going to do the cancellation before we multiply the two fractions. So, let's start. Let us try this on these examples. So, we have 2 fifth divided by 1 fifth. Okay. So, we learned in our previous lesson that when we divide fraction, we do the reciprocal to our second fraction. Then we change from division into change into multiplication. We're in the first fraction, we'll just stay the same. So, let us start. We have 2 fifths divided by 1 fifth. So, let's just from the 2 fifths here. And from division, The denominator by 5, we were going to divide this number by 5 also. So 5 divided by 5 is still 1. So we cannot divide 2 and 1. So we could now start multiplying. In multiplying fraction, we do the top times top, bottom times bottom. So 2 times 1, the answer is 2. And 1 times 1, the answer is 1. Okay, so we know that, it, that if a fraction has a denominator 1, it could be reduced where we could put this 1 into a whole number. So for our final answer, we have... Okay, so let us try to have another example here. Copy our first fraction, 14 over 4. Then from division, it will be changed into multiplication. And for our second fraction, we are going to change it from 2 set to 4. That is a total of 7 over 3. That is 16 over 7. Now let us try to do 4 numbers. We cannot divide 4 and 3. Divided by 7, we have 1. 14 divided by 7, the answer is 2. Okay, so after we put or after we divide these two numbers, we could now do our multiplication process. 2 times 3, the answer is 6. And 4 times 1, the answer is 4. Okay, notice that our answer can still be reduced into lowest term. And it is an improper fraction. Before I change this one into a mixed number, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this one first into lowest term. The number that can divide 6 and 4 is 2. So I'm going to divide these two numbers by 2. 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3. And 4 divided by 2, the answer here is 2. Since it is still an improper fraction, I'm going to change this one into the next number by dividing 3 divided by 2. So we have final answer of 1 and 1. Okay, so for those who are still confused, how do I get this 1 and 1 half? All we have to, we have to do is just divide. 3 divided by 2. We will have here 1. 1 times 2, that is 2. And 3 minus 2, the answer is 1. Our quotient will become our whole number. The 2 here will become the denominator. And the, and the remainder will become our numerator. So for our final answer, we have 1 and 1. Okay, so how about this one? We're going to divide 
a whole number or a mixed number by a fraction. Can you still remember how to divide a mixed number by a fraction? The first thing that we need to do is we need to change this mixed number into a proper fraction. Okay, so 5 times 5, that is 25. 25 plus 3, the answer is 20. Then just copy the denominator. Now, since we are dividing, division will become multiplication. And we're going to do the reciprocal for our second fraction. The reciprocal of one fifth is 5 over. So we cannot divide between 8 and 1, but we can divide 5 and 5. Right? We can divide 5 by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 5 divided by 5 is 2. Okay? So 28, top times top, bottom times bottom, 28 times 1, the answer is 28. 1 times 1, here, the answer is 1. So that's what we know. If a fraction has a denominator 1, it can be expressed as a whole number, 28. Okay, let us try to have the se second example. First, we need to change this improper fraction in uh, the mixed number into improper fraction by multiplying the denominator to a whole number and add a more numerator. So 5 times 2, that is 10. 10 plus 2, that is 12. Just copy the denominator 5. And from division, it will change into multiplication. Then we're going to do the reciprocal of 1 half. So that is 2 over 1. Okay. Now this one, I guess, we could not apply cancellation. It is because there is no number that can, that can divide 2 and 5. Same as 12 and 1. So in this case, we're just going to do the top times top and bottom times bottom. 12 times 2, that is 24. And 5 times 1, the answer is 5. Okay, now in this case, we're going to change this one into a mixed number. So there's no number. Or there's no number that can divide 24 and 5, so let us just continue dividing 24, divide it by 5, and we're going to change this one to a mixed number. 24 divided by 5, so we have 4, 4 times 5, that is 20, 24 minus 20. This one into a mixed number, so we have 4 and 4. Eight. Okay, so this will be now our final. And I always remember, grade 5 does not every fraction, and we could use the cancellation just like this example. But there are certain uh, equations or numbers where we need to do the cancellation process. Using the cancellation, it makes our multiplication more easier. Okay, but not every fraction needs to do the cancellation process. Okay, this time, how about if we're going to divide a whole number by a fraction? So to divide a whole number by a fraction, the first thing that we need to do is we're going to change this whole number into a fraction by just putting 1 as its denominator. Okay, so 4, whole number 4 into fraction, this will become 4 over 1. Okay, so from division, it will change into multiplication and the second fraction will be put into the separate one. So this will become 7 over Okay, so this time, we can reduce this one. 
the 4 and 6. What number can divide 4 and 6? The answer is 2. Yes, we can divide these two numbers by 2. 6 divided by 2, this one is 3. And 4 divided by 2, the answer is... So after this one, we can now multiply top times top. 2 times 7, this one is 14. And 1 times 3, the answer is... Change this one into the next number. So we have the answer of 4 and 2 thirds. So I got 4 and 2 thirds. We just divide 14 divided by 3. Sorry. So how many 3 we can find in 14? We have 3, 6, 9, 12. We have 4. 4 times 12, that is, uh, 4 times 3, that is 12. 14 minus 12, we have 2. So if we change this one into a mixed number, 4 will become a whole number. 3 will become the denominator and the remainder 2 will become 4 numerator. So for our final answer, we have 4 and 2. Okay, I got this one. Okay, 6 over 7 divided by 4. Still, we're going to do the process. I just copy the first fraction. This will become multiplication. And the 4 here, if we're going to change this one into fraction, this will become 4 over 1. But what we can see, the 4 over 1 here, or the 4, is in the second fraction, or that means our second fraction. So we're going to put this one into the separate house. So the receptacle of 4 over 1 is 1 4. Okay, so we can do the cancellation. The number that can divide 4 and 6 is 2. So 6 divided by 2, so that is 3. And 4 times, or 4 divided by 2, the answer is 2. So this one, the pen stop, 3 times 1. Seven times two, the answer is fourteen. And I guess three over fourteen. There's no number that can divide three and fourteen, and so we could not put this one into lowest term. And this will be now our final answer. Okay, always, always remember that not every fraction you could use the process of cancellation, just like this one. We're going to do the, we cannot apply the cancellation okay let's try to answer this will remain as two fifth this will become multiplication and the reciprocal of one third is three over one okay so as what we can see we cannot divide two over one and three by five there's no number that can divide them so since there is no number that can divide these numbers, what we have to do is we're going to do the top times top, bottom times, bottom, top times top, 3 times 2, uh, 2 times 3, that is 6, and 5 times 1, that is still 5. And let us reduce this one or change this one into a mixed number. So we have our final answer as 1 and 1. Okay, so that ends our lesson for today. Don't forget to answer our activity below. So thank you so much for listening and may you have a nice day. Bye-bye.